guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and, of course, the subscribe right now. And also, go to the notification bell icon, click it, and select all. So, we don't have any banger news because we definitely be not far right here. Let's get straight to it with our station. So, two days ago, at Joshua versus Francis Ngannou got announced by Eliano Matro Boxing in a very in a very unexpected fashion. I mean, we didn't expect Ngannou to be the opponent, according to Eliano Matro Boxing. He said right here tonight we confirm is a done deal. And Joshua versus Francis Ngannou collide on a huge night in Rio. Saudi Arabia press conference January 15 in London with full details dropping very soon bro this was a big surprise for me when I saw this sadly I couldn't react I couldn't do an enemy reaction because I was not at home you know here's what Joshua said about had to say about Francis Gano and this was I think Proud to the fight getting announced, and Joshua even knowing that he will be fighting Ghana. So Joshua did dismiss the potential the potential fight with Ghana until you know Wilder fumbled the back. First man to land, nice guy. Joshua envisioned how the fight will play out. It's very interesting from Joshua's point. Joshua is, I will say, is a kind of visionary, in my opinion. <laughs> Francis Ngani. Inspiration. Yeah, he's cool, isn't he? Story, his story. Wow. If you can't take motivation from that and inspiration, I don't know what, what would drive you in life. Mm. What a story he has. Um, mm. So inspiration for me. And a nice guy. Have you met him yet? Nah, I haven't. Would you like, would you like to meet him other than fighting him? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'd like to go to Cameroon. Yeah. The, to the sand, my way he was Where he digging worked as a kid, yeah, right? Like Ten it, yeah. years old. Yeah. Amazing. There, yeah. What would happen in a fight between you, though? War. <laughs> first man, like first man to land, like, he's going out. Yeah. Yeah. It would be rough, wouldn't it? Battle of the bodybuilders. <laughs> Imagine! Wow. Plus, if you can stay at home. Francis and Garni. Inspiration. You heard it from the two-time unified working of the University of Joshua. He says, first man to land. Bruv, the battle of bodybuilders, he said. <laughs> that was really like surprising to hear on Joshua. <laughs> What's the take on this, bruv? Todd Jagwe. And how do you feel how do you feel about this far right here? Are you happy? Are you anxious? Are you sad? Are you not feeling it? What was going through your mind? Or what went through your mind when you heard it? Okay, so, um, what went through my mind when I heard this news? Uh, I'll say, for the most part, I'm I'm happy for AJ, you know, as always. You know, I'm glad he's going to be making that money. And you know what? I like AJ, what he said. It's only, it's only going to be for it. The guy knows it's only going to be for entertainment purposes. Ten round fight, whatever. Let me let me get my bones and get my body warmed up. Let me get some practice in. Let me stay active in the ring. Forget it, right? The guy knows automatically. He's not gonna he's not gonna try to count this as a legit win. Whatever. I'm gonna show him a masterclass boxing. I'm gonna show him what boxing is. Simple as that. That's all AJ has to do. There's nothing fancy he's got to do. He doesn't even need to need. He doesn't even need a knockout. He will show people, hey man, I know how to box. You know, keep down my skill. This is what it is. This is this is what this is what you guys what you guys gonna see, right? You know, um, I personally think he knew he knew what to do and how to how to get into this fight, right? Um, unlike Tyson Fury, who said, oh, this fight is you know, um, and Mgano is gonna be a a competitive fighter just trying to make a legit reason to try to get people to tune into this fight right you know just trying to trying to make this fight seem like it's 
it's it's important for boxing and make it seem like yeah Ngannou is a dangerous man I mean dangerous in, in his own terms of, of because of he's a UFC fighter not not because he's an actual actual dangerous dangerous uh, uh, opponent in boxing terms you know I mean Francis and Francis and Ngannou you know, is properly trained, could probably could probably box right. As of right now, we don't see him as a as 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 somebody who can really do damage. You know, among amongst the uh, top five heavyweight, other than Tyson Fury, which was a complete embarrassment, right? So, Tyson Fury just trying to sell that fight was his whole was his whole thing. You know, I bet you he probably didn't at some point. He probably didn't train really well or take Ngannou seriously you know and those were and that's exactly what happened you know Ngannou trained he took it extremely seriously what what are the I got nothing to lose other than trying to dethrone Tyson Fury one of the supposed greatest heavyweight boxer you know of this century so I got nothing to lose I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna do try my hardest to knock this guy out and that's what that's the try, try and that's what he exactly tried to do and that's what the outcome that we got on that day uh, with Ngannou. But as for me, I think AJ knows. Hey, this is for entertainment purposes, and that's it, right? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go in there, dust them off real quick, you know, show what I got, work them, you know, get my bones warmed up, you know, onto the next one for the for the fight. But would I would I prefer this fight for AJ? Probably, absolutely not, because I said the same thing for Tyson Fury. I didn't want to see that fight. Um, it's much like a hold up for the heavyweight division but you know what it is what it is they're making money let them make money and stay blessed but at the same time i would prefer aj to fight to fight um philip hogovich other than uh Ungano. these fights should be made towards the end of their career not towards like you know in the middle of the career when things are heating up they should be concentrated but for the most part i think i think it's going to be a a, a a decent scrap up until the fifth round where AJ is going to go in there and just outwork Ngannou. As for me, I think AJ's boxing skills is superior exceptionally. I think he's a, he has an exceptional bo- exceptional boxing skills, and that's why I'm going to end it. Um, I do understand your take, and I do understand your, you know, kind of like, yeah, I understand what, you, what you're saying and how, what you mean, but I'm a guy that, I'm someone that would never understand Ngannou. Like I used when for a few years I said this guy like is gonna probably get stopped or something like that because I just felt like if you are a novice basically and the guys are novice you know you step in a boss and ring like the way you throw a punch the way you throw a punch will be the first weakness you know especially against someone like Fury Ngano I didn't know what stance you know he fights in against Fury but what shocked me the most is that the way this guy he he, he set up his punch like a reboxer that shocked me because in UFC you can tell how sloppy it is but in boxing he was very neat I expected him to have that UFC type of stance and very awkward, very novice like and stuff like that. But instead, it was a different guy, especially the way he throw punches. He throws it like a pro. And even when he dropped Fury, he didn't go crazy. These are things that usually amateur guys or novice warriors do they drop someone they want to go all crazy this is what they do in the ufc right in ufc if they drop if you if you drop your opponent you go all wide and want to finish him out right but Ngannou didn't do that he kept his calm he kept his cool and kept on applied pressure on fury that chucked me and this is the reason why i'm giving like i'm not doubting this guy and against and joshua joshua already said what's going to happen joshua said it's going to be a battle of bodybuilders and whoever land first 
bro. Gano punch is very hard, bro. But his punches are from an awkward stance. So, I think the first three, four rounds, Joshua will have pulling with, with such a style. Fighting someone that doesn't have a typical style. And Gano could switch stance. But, I don't believe Joshua counter. Joshua's like counter skill is just something else. I don't think Gano can deal with that. But, I think Ngana can take punch. He can take Joshua's punches. But will he keep taking it? How long? If Ngana hit Joshua clean, we know he will wobble Joshua. He will. He's got the power to do so. So I'm not underestimating uh, what's at stake here. There's a lot at stake. Joshua is literally fighting for Domination, fighting to do better than Fury, because any slip up here would be very, very bad. But I believe Joshua is determined. Is um. Is mentally ready, and is going to train for this fight. So is if if this was the first time, they like Ngannou step into. The I would say Joshua will, wouldn't really take this guy serious, but because he's seen what this guy did, what is because he's seen what he did against Fury, and he knows that Gun will come prepared, Joshua will be ready for that. And it's gonna be very, very, very interesting. Can't wait for this fight. Stay tuned, much goodbye, right here, guys. Give a thumbs below, like the video, just subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you for supporting the channel. Stay with me, right here, guys. Be right back. God bless you all. Cheers. Da, da, da.